uh, we are in the series, the nine week series of why am I here? Say, why am I here? Why am I here? And say, why am I born? Why am I born? And why was I born? And why was I born? You know, uh, we started it on Sunday and so many revelations. How many people have already been blessed from the first, from the very, 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 very part? Part 1A has been so glorious. Um, you have an assignment on earth. Tell somebody, I have an assignment on earth. I have an assignment on earth. And because of that assignment that you have, let me tell you, it's very difficult for the devil to take you out. You've got to fulfill your purpose your, and your assignment so that other people will be blessed because of you. But however, the types of attacks you go through in life is connected to your purpose. The type of battles you go through is a sign of the purpose that you carry. If you have no purpose, nothing will fight you, nothing will frustrate you. But when your purpose is so amazing, your battles will be huge. If you are here and your battles are huge, it's a sign. I said, if you are here and your battles are huge, it's a sign. It's a sign. It's a sign. I said, if you are here and your battles are huge, it's a sign that God has something so special for your life and for your destiny. And on Sunday, I made you to understand why God created you. God had millions of angels, trillions of angels, but why God made you? But because God wanted somebody to relate with. God didn't want a robot to be around him because angels operate by default. But we also operate by understanding and we worship God based on reasoning. Hallelujah. And based on that, you also, you're supposed to understand that you are made in the image of God. And because you are made in the image of God, you, you represent God. Man is so powerful that the Bible says God created the highest heavens, but the earth, he has given it to mankind. So you occupy here and you take over this place. And everything that you do is very powerful. Because your spirit man is so glorious. Do, do, do I have, uh, Pastor Jemba, do I have the perfect this year? So uh, as a human being, uh, the paper inside you see in there is your spirit. God made you a spirit. But God didn't want you to come and operate over here. He looked for a container, that is your body, and placed the spirit inside. So when somebody wants to fight you and fight the body, they have made a big mistake. Because your destiny is not on this body. Your destiny is inside of your spirit. When he was bringing you out, inside of your spirit, the number of years you will live on earth was written on your spirit. So when they want to take you out before your time, you just go back into time and declare that God, why you brought me here, may nothing stop me in the name of Jesus. And today I want you... Uh, um, this evening, I come to show you something the next 15 minutes about what the things that happen in the womb. Someone say, in the womb. In the womb. Now, when God created man, he made man a spirit and placed you in heaven. But you are supposed to be formed in the womb of your mother. But the troubles and the attacks a person goes through, all of them begins in the womb. Turn the person by you. It started in the womb. It started in the womb. One more time. Let's go. Started in the womb. For the last time, let's go. Started in the womb. Listen, when a baby is in the womb, whatever is being said to the mother, the baby listens. Whatever is being projected while the baby is inside, it can affect or torment the baby. Luke chapter 1, verse number 41. The Bible says a woman, two women are pregnant. One of them is called Elizabeth. The other one is called. The other one is called. Mary. Now, the Bible says the two of them met just to greet. The Bible says when Elizabeth heard Mary's greetings, the baby in her womb, the baby leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Two men have met, just two men have met, two men to, to, for illustration. So, let's say this is Elizabeth and this is Mary. And just say hello, hi. Just say hello, hi. Just say hello, hi. Now, Elizabeth is pregnant for more than six months. The moment Elizabeth hears the voice from Mary, the baby inside of her jumped up. Which means communications and words can affect what happens in the womb. I want to ask you one question when you were in the womb. What messages did you hear? When you were in the womb, what messages were being projected? And now, were they positive or they were negative? I declare by fire. If there was any negative no, voice no, no, that came no. over your life in the womb, hear me? Today, I came to move you to a realm that is called born again. God is about to cause you to go back in time and receive whatever he has said about your life. Yes, Lord. Now, so here it says, it says, now 44 says, and as soon as the sound... He says, as soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears. Listen, the sound of the greetings, it didn't reach the womb. It reached the ears. 
But although it's rich, the ears, it affected what was here. Who saw your destiny? Who saw your star just to compromise it? Who saw what you carry and declared something in the ears of your mother and affected you? But if good things can happen, bad things can happen. So I want to stand on the good things. Yes, if Lord. every blessed word was said on your mother, Jesus. today may you live to fulfill all of them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, is that, is that the way we say amen in this house? Amen. I said, is that the way we say amen in this house? Amen. You will live to fulfill all of them by the mercies of God. Amen. But however, if another person said, if something wrong was being said by the reason of the power of God I reject it and I stop it in the mighty name of Jesus son I am powerful I am powerful so he says as soon as the sound of your greetings reached my ears the baby in my womb leaped for joy so it means a person can help your baby grow but another person can help your baby die your baby is your destiny. Why you were born, why you are on earth. Everybody has an assignment in life. Everybody has an assignment in life. But in the spiritual realm, when a, a destiny is being born, we call some things destiny deformities. And for destiny deformities, the assignment is to make sure that the person is not able to fulfill that destiny. Destiny deformities can block and shortcut a person's life. Today, what is the destiny deformity? I said, what is the destiny deformity? And destiny deformities, they are always time sensitive. Sometimes it will not show up until the person gets to 18 years. Sometimes it will not show up until the person gets to 9 years. Sometimes it will not show up until the person gets to 50 years. It's called a destiny deformity. And when that one particular deformity happens to a person, and hear me, the deformity is not about you being blind, your hand having an issue. It's about what affects your destiny. All of a sudden, you lack favor. All of a sudden, people don't love you anymore. Now, destiny deformity is not somebody who became blind. It is somebody, all of a sudden, their favor level is gone. All of a sudden, anywhere they enter, what belongs to them, they don't get it anymore. All of a sudden, they were doing so well. All of a sudden, anytime they begin to take one step, they go backwards again. The spirit that is called almost there begins to fight them. It's called destiny deformity. And with destiny deformities, they all start from the womb. When God makes you a spirit, let me tell you, everybody, when God made you a spirit, you were so perfect. Because God doesn't do anything that is not perfect. But when he was sipping you through the womb, that's where the wahala started. Because now in the womb, you are about to be connected to the DNA and the blood of your family. Whether you like it or not, because you came from a DNA, you shall exhibit some of the signs of the DNA of the family. Whether you like it or not. But you have another purpose that God... I came from this family. There is this DNA. People die at this year, at this particular age. But as for me, I am about, listen to me. It takes one person to bring something to the family. And it takes one person, don't shout yet. It takes one person to break it off. And there is somebody seated here. You are the one person that is about to break some. Oh, the one who's the loudest. Amen. You are breaking it off right now. I said it takes one person. Yes, and, 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 and hear this one. Hear this one. Sit down for one minute. I have 12 minutes. You cannot change where you are coming from. But you can change where you are going. And after you change where you are going, you go back to where you came from. And change what was there. So that those who... Brother Daniel, prove to me. Let me prove to you. You are born at Jamestown Hospital. The passport you have of Ghana, you will tell you place of birth, Jamestown, in that small house. After some years, you went to live in England, Netherlands, America. You became an American citizen, English citizen, British citizen. Your passport now says you are a British citizen. But in the passport, place of birth is not Middlesex Hospital. It is still Jamestown. But hear the good news. Now, you go back to James, Jamestown in the house and go and pick 
One, two, three, four. People don't clap yet. And tell them, this house, I don't love it anymore. I'm putting $10,000 down. I'm putting $100,000 down. Get a new contractor. Get a new architect. Break the house down. Let's build a new one. And all children here, I'm giving them a scholarship. Let them go and study in England. So although you couldn't change where you are coming from, you change where you are going, and you went back to change where you came from. So that, hear me, so that, hear me, so that those who are coming after you, they will not suffer the pain. So, so, oh, somebody have got so, a revelation already. So, so, so. so they will not suffer the pain. You suffer. So that's how God operates. We don't end it there. You can't change where you are coming from, but you can change where you are going. And after you change where you are going, you go back to where you came from and change what was there. So that those who came or those who come after you will not go through the same things you went through. Let me tell you, it is possible. I said, it is possible. I said, it is possible. I said, it is possible. He was born in a manger. He didn't die in a manger. He died in the tomb of a rich man. Jesus. Now hear this one. And after you fight destiny deformities, there are some things we call destiny helpers. And let me tell you something. Past oh, thank you, very thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Hear you know I me. Mean? Pastors, preachers, apostles, men of God, prophets, any man of God, all, 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 they told us, you need a destiny helper. But let me tell you, a destiny helper is not a human being. A human being destiny helper is one category of helpers. So Christians, including you seated here, all your life, the prayers you pray, oh God, give me that man, give me that woman. Hear me? It's only one category of destiny helpers. Now, let me give you some categories of destiny helpers. I have about seven. I'll give you about three. One category of destiny helper is a human being. And you say they have a connector and all of them is one category. The second category of destiny helpers is change of location. Because your location can help your destiny. And your location can... Because listen, if my helper is waiting for me at Accra Mall, and I'm standing at Spinter's Road. Will I meet a person? No. I've got to change my location yes, from Spinter's Road yes, to Grandma. My God. So change yes, of location is another form of destiny helpers. Jesus. So sometimes that's what sometimes you can meet a person, but they cannot help you. Do you know the reason? If you meet a good person on the wrong day. I said, if you meet a good person on the wrong day, would they help you? No. Okay, let's say somebody wants to be your destiny helper. But the day you met them, you met them at the hospital. And they, and they were looking at their family member who just came from emergency theater. Would they give you one million dollars? No. So, God, as you, you link me to the person. Link me to the person at the right. Jesus, yes, Lord. So. The third thing. The third number of destiny helpers is called divine season. And it's called set time. The set time. If you don't enter into the set time, the set time, the set time. The Bible says on the sixth month, an angel met a girl. Her name was called Mary. On the sixth month. The sixth month was the set time. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mary, although you carry Jesus, if you don't meet your Gabriel on the sixth month, your Jesus will not come. And the most painful thing about destiny is when you miss your set time. If you miss your set time sometimes, you might not be able to get it back. But there is something about God. He's a God of another chance. Yes, From the top to the down. Yes, Lord. Per adventure. My God. If you have missed your set time, Jesus. I came to recalibrate the time on yes, your behalf. Lord. Oh, I, 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 can, I can feel you. 
I came to recalibrate the time on your behalf. May God cause you to enjoy your set time. Yes, Lord. Shall I enjoy my set time? I enjoy my set time. Say, I enjoy my set time. 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 Let me give you the last part. The last part about Destiny Helpers. I've given you a person, location, set time. And the last one, sorry, it's seven. But the fourth one for today is this. The subjects and the objects of favor. Hi, please. Favor is something that polishes your destiny. Favor makes you to smell good in front of people. Amen. Favor goes beyond what is in your face. Favor is not about makeup. Somebody has more makeup, but people don't like them. Somebody has not made makeup before, but anywhere they stand, there is something I, I declare. I move you to that realm. Yes, sir. I move you to that realm. Yes, sir. I move. Oh, I come yes, through somebody. Somebody yes, shout favor. Favor. Shout favor. Favor. Listen, favor will make you a girl by the name of Esther. She is a maid servant. She doesn't sleep early. She wakes up early. But when a king meets her, out of other beautiful girls, the king said, Bibi Zemi. It was not about her face, it was about her favor. Listen, you've been here, you've heard testimonies about embassy. Somebody go to the embassy, a girl by the name of Sarah. She's all the way at Ohio right now in America. Sarah gets to embassy. Say, Papa, pray for me. I say, go, favor will locate you. She got there. The white man says, ah, hey, your face looks like my daughter. <laughs> How can I? And Sarah is not even fair. If Sarah was fair, per adventure, maybe they could have looked the same. But Sarah is a dark girl. But the white man says, you look like my daughter. My God. Listen, fa favor will cause people's eyes to be close, I'm about to say something right now. You can treat it for me. I just got a ring. I just got a ring. Can I tell you? Yeah. Get it right now. Yeah. Favor will cause people's eyes to be closed. Hear me of your faults. Ah, 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 ah. I said, favor will cause people's eyes to be closed on your faults. faults. Can I say it one more time? Yes, sir. Favor will cause the eyes of people, their eyes, to be closed on your deformities. So they don't see your mistakes. They only magnify your good side. Yes, Somebody get ready. Jesus. God is about to magnify Jesus. your good side. Yes, God is about to magnify yes, yes, your best side on yes, every side. Yes, Shout yes, favor. favor. In my last five minutes, when people are talking about Disney helpers, tell them, hey, stop talking about people. People is only one percent. Favor, change of location, people, set time. I have seven. Sunday, I'll give you the last three. And the next thing I will show you right now is this. After you are born and you enter, the name you carry plays a role. And this night, I didn't ask anybody here to go and swear any affidavit to change your name. But we are about to work on the influence of our names. Uh. Now the question is, sister, the name they gave to you, why did they give you that name? Number two, the person they named you after, what were some of the things the person went through? Yes, you can have a nice name, Emmanuel, God is with us. But the person, the, what was the reason why your father named you that name? Well, I saw somebody, the person, was, but what did the person go through? A sister was here, married for more than 10 years, no baby. The Lord said, before I pray for her, she should write the name of the person, the name here after, and put it on the altar. I said, who is Enchua? I said, my auntie. I said, did she have a baby? Never. She died at 70-something with no baby. 
And this sister, the moment she got married, that's when she started bleeding. She, when she brought it, we prayed on the altar, took it, we burnt it. The next month, she became pregnant. As I'm talking, she has three children. <laughs> names are powerful. Never joke with names. Jabez said, oh God, change my name. And the mother said, I name you Jabez because I gave birth to you in pain. And the word Jabez simply means pain. He said, God, don't let me cause pain. And every day of his life, there was pain everywhere because of that name. What name did they give to you? I said, what name did they give to you? We see Samson shining, becoming great. Because the word Samson in the Hebrew is translated as Simpson. And Simpson means sunshine. So Samson becoming a great guy. His name meant sunshine. So anywhere Samson goes, he was shining. So before he becomes jealous of Samson, check his name. One day, Jesus called the guy and said, Out of the 12 disciples, I will make you my top, my leader. What's the name of the guy? Peter. The leader of the, of the disciples, who? Peter. What's the name? Peter. What's the name? Peter. He says, Upon you, I will build my church. Do you know the reason? Because the name Peter comes from the Hebrew word Petros. And the word Petros means a rock. He says, you are the rock. I will build my church on you. One of the disciples, you all know his name. You call him Doubting. Thomas. Doubting. Thomas. Do you know the reason why he was a doubter? The word doubt, Thomas in the Greek is translated, is translated as Didymus. It says Didymus. Didymus. And Didymus means a wind. So when your life is a wind, you doubt. That's why he was a doubting Thomas. My God, Jesus Moses was a deliverer. Do you know why he became a deliverer? Because his name, the moment Pharaoh's daughter picked him from the river, she said, I will call him Moses because I drew him out from the water. So the word Moses means to draw out. So God said, I will use you to draw my people out of yes, Egypt. Lord. Names are powerful. What is your name? What is your name? And sometimes, sometimes, sometimes the dangerous names, hear me, the dangerous names are not the names in your passport. Are not the names, but hear me, they are, I'm about to say something right now that will shock so many people. Can I tell you? Now, did some, the dangerous, can I tell you right now? Yes. Man of God, the dangerous name is not the name on your birth certificate. It is the name people call you in their bedrooms. Brother Dan, you explained to me, I'm glad you asked me. Can I tell you? When they sit in their bedroom and they mention your name, do they say that the guy who cannot have a job, that sister who is struggling, they know you're looking for the fruit of the womb. Maybe in their house they say that, ah, that barren lady. The name they call you behind the scenes sometimes, if you're not careful, it could become your reality. What names do they call you in their bedrooms? And some people have some coded names they name people, and you don't know. Onokwa, Obesradie, What's that here? And the more they say that, it becomes your reality. But if people sit behind the scenes, ah, if people have sat behind the scenes and they've been naming you wrongly by the blood of Jesus, I came to rename you. I came to rename you. I came to rename you. I delete the wrong names. I change your name. I move your name to the next realm. May God bless your destiny. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Lift up your right hand. Listen to me. I know I've made you angry, right? I have made you angry. I'm about to make you more angry. You are about to fight some battles now. I said, you're about to fight some battles now. And may the God of the testimony city show himself strong in your life now. See, I reject it. Reject it. See, I reject the bad name. I reject the bad name. See, I reject the dirty name. I reject the dirty name. See, it's never my portion. It's, it's never, never my portion. portion. 
Say hey. Hey. Say hey. Hey. Any wrong name. Any wrong name. On my destiny. On my destiny. I reject it. I reject it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Say leave me alone. Leave me alone. Say I reject it. Rejected. Now, ah. say it's not my name. It is not, not my name. name. Say it's not my name. It is it is not not my name. Can I pause here to declare? If somebody has written down a name and they have placed it on an evil altar, making sure it becomes a reality. By the blood of Jesus, I reject it. I reject it right now. Sometimes painful, they can call a person a loser. So when you get anything at all, you are losing. And you don't know why. It's a name. It's the reason for the name. But today I change it now. Amen. Say, oh Jehovah. Oh Jehovah. In the wrong name. In the wrong name. Say, oh Jehovah. Oh Jehovah. In the wrong name. In the wrong name. Say, oh Jehovah. Oh Jehovah. In the dirty name. In the dirty name. Break. Break. I reject, it. I reject it. It's never my portion. It's never my portion. Whoever, Whoever has put a bad name on me, waiting to waiting for it to happen. Waiting for it to happen. Crash. Break. Crash. Break. Crash. Break. Crash. Break. Yesterday, Auntie Comfort was here. Her own sister, get, get it ready for me. Her own sister, the daughter has gotten married. The sister said, by force, I will cook a tough for your daughter. And she told the sister, what are you trying to talk? Why? He said, no. The sister within, within one week, she got, the, the woman's daughter, within one week, she got five accidents, almost dying. Because the sister said, I will show you. And I said, hey, you show. The meet I will show you. And the comfort on, please. Thank you. Then I said, Paul said, she came to church, told me about it, and I said, I'm angry. Take stone from the compound. Do you bring your stone? Yes. Take stone from the compound. Let's go and throw it. If your sister is trying to give a thought to your daughter, and now you don't agree, it says, I'll make sure your daughter is no more. They will see who will become no more. She went there and threw it. One week, the sister got struck. As I'm talking now, she's in the mortuary. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Auntie is here, what's Auntie Comfort? Auntie is here. The daughter got married. Then her own sister said, by force, I will cook a top for her. I said to her sister, no, I do. Said, by force, I will cook a top for her. That was the, how hard the problem started. The daughter had to fall sick on top of the altar here. God came through. Why are they going for stone? Okay. And and, and, the, and the agenda was for your daughter to even knock. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'll, I'll give them time. Protocol, protocol. Hello, hello. Everybody coming. So I'll give you time to do that. Okay. We are still in prayer. Let them come. Christians only want to do things without understanding. Yeah. Let's flow. I'm telling right. Then I'm going to cry. Can you me fast? I'm on the microphone. I'm telling you, this is this is not an Hollywood movie. Life. But your papa na just say na worry na ache. Na on worry. No to me worry. No to me worry. Yes. Say ni na no na if you no. Sir. Enti time on ba be a wedding no. Yes. On we a wedding we. Uh huh. Na wedding no ye we na ne papa on we a investigation wa be manu na na just say be mani ye ni papa papa. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, wedding. We're not be try cake. You money are there. I say, oh, just say we're here wedding. You know, you know. And I dear chin your call. You know, no call ringe. Hey, hey, me, me, ba, me, me, man, kolana. Hey, penny, oh, yeah, penny. So many. No, I free we. No, I free we. I'm only the queen. Na, no, I'm just say be man on you. Just say be man who. Oh, I'm a be brave. Just say I'm okay. Can be man who send be brave. Now just say no. I'm person. Me ban be worry. Ain't see just a worry. I want no call to confusion. Ye who dream near you near the yina. Say say just a ye a ye and talk up ra. Ain't see I know na ma a ye. Eh, eh, Pastor Brian the buyer who uh, uh, say sure. we well, full full told the man on a day and some they saw Canada yeah. because when your accident five yes or both from the side that the end the chain five accidents mm -hmm. she yeah, nearly the, died on two day the direction yeah the direction the chain is anti direction the chain the idea no and now 
Eh, Papa, Oma, ye ko ye eh direction. Yes. Ye ye direction we no eh. So for no ni ye me ko na ko ye direction. Okay, I'm saying. Eh, bo bo ni, eh bo na bo ni pa. Na I'm saying sa. I'm saying I. Enti sa week no mo na me stani ni a stroke. Oh, look at the way you are clapping. My God. Lift up your hands. Listen. The directions we are doing here, we are not joking, no. I gave it to one of the pastors. On your stroke, in your ear, no. It's a better two weeks now. We're Mr. We. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Any human being. Jesus. If your sister's daughter has gotten married, what is your hala? What is what is your what is your pain? Tonight, if God is in the house, God will fight for somebody. Amen. Say, oh Jehovah, oh Jehovah, anybody, anybody who knows anything, who knows anything about my infancy, about my infancy and my upbringing, and my upbringing, making sure, making sure to deform, to deform my, destiny, my destiny. I come after you. I come after you by fire. By fire. I come after you. I come after you. Whatever, Whatever you have projected, you have projected and, done against me, and done against me, I fight you back. I fight you back. I stop you. I stop you. I crush you. I crush you tonight. Tonight, fall before me. Fall before me. Tonight, tonight, fall before me. Fall before now, me. now, as I clap, as I, clap, as I pray, as I somebody clap once and pray. Come on. Now, come on, come on, now. Come on, come on, come on.